Thank you for attending the annual Large Hadron Collider meeting. Let's see. On the agenda for 2015, find parallel universes. Sounds good. Let's fire her up. Joe, please. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, David Geisler here. This is the Technophiles Newscast, and the Large Hadron Collider is setting its sights on parallel universes. So the Large Hadron Collider kind of famously found the Higgs boson a couple years ago. Now they're finding a reason to fire it up again. The scientists over at CERN have decided that they have found a way to test for parallel universes. Now, not the Schrodinger's cat, many worlds type parallel universes that a lot of people are getting excited about these days. That's still kind of a philosophy because we simply can't test it. But what we can test is gravity. One thing that the Large Hadron Collider is very good at is making teeny tiny little black holes. And the scientists have realized that if we can measure the amount of gravity that escapes into these black holes, we can actually prove the existence of parallel universes. The idea is that it's mathematically possible for gravity in our dimension to leak through a black hole into another dimension. Now they've decided that they've actually calculated how much gravity they would expect to lose during one of these collisions using a new theory called gravity's rainbow. <laughs> when they fire up the LHC, they're actually going to be measuring energy in what's called tera electron volts or TEV. One TEV is one trillion electron volts. So CERN has actually been searching for our mini black holes already a little bit, somewhere in the 5.3 TeV range. But there's a new study that actually says they need to crank it up a notch. They're now thinking that mini black holes will actually form closer to 9.5 TeV in six dimensions and 11.9 TeV in 10. People are getting nervous the same way that they did a couple years ago, thinking, oh my gosh, we're gonna make black holes and destroy the planet and all this kind of stuff. But in a weird way, we've almost learned so much about the first time we did this that we're realizing uh, it doesn't seem like that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> so there it is. How do you guys feel about all this? Leave comments down below, or actually, if you find news about the LHC, definitely tweet it to us at Technophiles Pod, and we'll talk about it on the podcast. Otherwise, you can find us on Facebook by searching Technophiles, or go to iTunes and search Technophiles, or go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. All right, guys, I'll see you in a couple days. Parallel universes, we know that you're hard to find, but we will look for you with our Large Hadron Collider. I know you're everywhere. And take a look, it's not in a book yet, it's the Gravity's Rainbow. Yes, the Gravity's Rainbow.